I think most people don't really understand what is going on uh, in the gold market. Uh, there, uh, there is a reason why the cartel manipulation in gold broke uh, right here when they were unable to get uh, gold below 2000. Uh, there's a reason why we've got this violent um, surge higher. And then instead of getting a corrective move, uh, gold uh, just traded sideways and has, has broken out again. Now, I, I think there's uh, probably going to be some kind of correction in gold uh, here uh, over the next several weeks. And I'll go over that more in detail. But uh, the, the driver of this move this bull market in gold is different than the driver here uh, this this driver in the in the 2000s uh, was due to inflation and when the housing market collapsed and the fed printed um, billions and billions of dollars to try and uh, soften that blow it um, it ignited inflation oil went to 100 almost 150 dollars a barrel and and gold made um, this huge move from $250 uh, to almost $2,000. Um, inflation is not what is driving this breakout in gold. This is this is um, fear of government is driving this breakout. So now let me show you commodities in general. Commodities in general are are correcting. Uh, they're, they're moving down into probably a three-year cycle low, although this is a long cycle uh, but gold is uh, diverging from that and, and the reason is is there's a completely different driver for gold than there is in uh, the rest of the commodity markets all right so um here's here's you know what is is going to or has the potential to um, trigger a mild correction in gold and i think it will be mild uh, the dollar has reached a support zone here at 100.50 you can see we had a, a temporary uh, break below that, but it was a false breakdown. But just multiple um, tags and bounces off this. I think we're going to get another one. This one also happens to correspond with the 200-week moving average. And so uh, we, we're, uh, the dollar's due for an intermediate rally that should last multiple weeks. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to make a higher high. Uh, it'll top uh, before um, it gets to this point here. And then the next intermediate cycle, we're going to break down, and it's not going to be a false breakdown like this. We're going to we're going to break down in earnest. The bull market in the do dollar topped back here. Um, it's been going sideways for a couple of years, but I think um, I think that's done, and I think uh, the dollar will, during the next intermediate cycle, will break down um, below this consolidation, below this 150, and we'll start the bear market in earnest. But but we're due for a multi-week uh, rally right here, and that'll probably put some pressure on gold. All right, um, but I, I do think that the the pullback is going to be mild in the gold market. I think it's going to resist the dollar rally to some extent. Um, smart money is trying to get out of the banking system and into assets to protect against uh, government. And um, I would suggest the main beneficiary of that is gold. Um, a lot of people like Bitcoin, but you know, if you if you if you turn off the electrical grid, Bitcoin becomes worthless. Um, gold is protection against government, so that that is why gold is is doing what it's doing here. And um, my guess is that this this correction could be very mild. At uh, at most, it might. Well, um, probably I'm going to say that gold will correct back to 2450. That may be all that it's going to correct. Um, worst case scenario might come back down to 2300, but I, I kind of doubt it. Um, and, you know, if you understand what is happening here and why gold is, is diverging from the rest of the commodity markets, then this is your opportunity to buy uh, more physical gold. And I'm not talking about, you know, the, the vast majority of um, clueless traders that are just trying to make a quick buck off of a, off the gold rally. Um, the, these are opportunities to protect yourself against 
uh, what is coming uh, in in government and get uh, get yourself out of the financial system and into um, other assets. Real estate uh, would be one, um, but uh, I think gold is probably the most liquid. So while we are set up for some kind of a correction, I think it's going to be probably be very mild. It may only come back down to test this breakout at 2450. Uh, and you should absolutely use that opportunity to um, turn as much uh, fiat uh, cash and, and get out of the financial system and uh, get uh, get yourself into physical gold to protect for, uh, for what is uh, coming in, in the years ahead. And um, authoritarian government is just going to get uh, worse in the years ahead. All right, and just a quick word on, on mining stocks. Um, they've reached um, resistance at $40. You can see uh, this was resistance here. It was a resistance here. We had a, uh, I think this was a three-day false breakout here, and, and we've, we've reached that resistance here as well. So uh, miners are set up for uh, some kind of a correction too. The correction will probably be a bit more severe in the mining stocks. They're, they're a lot more volatile than gold. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, I've, I've said this before, miners are for trading. Uh, physical gold and physical silver are for uh, protecting yourself against uh, government. So, you know, don't be surprised if we if we get a pullback from this resistance zone. Uh, you'll It's going to be a buying opportunity here in the next several weeks. But it, it probably will be a bit more severe in the in the mining stocks than it than it's going to be in gold itself. Uh, and I, I think it's unlikely that um, GDX will get through this major resistance zone uh, on this first try. Uh, 